after you've installed Git for Windows as well as the Atom Text Editor, if you'd like to use the same commands on the command line that I'm using during the modules, then these instructions are for you. Thankfully, this setup is straightforward and made easy with the use of Atom packages. Once inside the Atom Text Editor, you want to go ahead and install a package. And from here, we want to search for Platformio and specifically the Platformio IDE terminal. From here, you want to click install. And once it installs, you want to immediately go to settings. Once you click on settings, you should be greeted with this page. On this page, we are looking for the shell override. And what you should notice is it's currently set to the default, which uses PowerShell. Instead, what we want to do is we want to point it to the bash shell that's already stored on your system once you downloaded uh, the Windows version of Git. So we are just typing in the path git bin bash.exe. And after that, we can go ahead and close out of settings. And we can open the terminal by simultaneously clicking the control and tilde keys. At this point, you can use similar Unix commands. But one thing I do want to note is the directories will look slightly different than my system. But the good news is all the commands that I use will be exactly the same for you.